world. Uh, what I'm going to demonstrate now, it's uh, actually it's charging this capacitor bank by this hub motor. This is a three-phase hub motor with no sensors inside. It's uh, 350 watts, run on 36 volts. And what I did, I just connected the the three phase to a rectifier to a diode bridge it's a rectifier bridge and then this is the DC so the DC go inside this uh, amp voltmeter it, it will measure the power and then it goes actually to this uh, capacitor it's a super capacitor bank you have the voltmeter here so you can see it quite clear and when I when I turn the wheel what you can see here I move it really slow so it's about one amp and if you look at the voltage so you will see that slowly the super capacitor bank is charging so now it's 4.1 and if I will turn it try to hold the bicycle doing that a little bit faster 2 amp 4.3 volts and climbing you see I'm using my my hand, one hand. It's actually, of course, if you roll it uh, with your feet, it will be much easier to to produce electricity. It's a very simple system. I'm doing this test for using this hub motors as a wind turbine generator and I will measure the speed and the amp and the voltage that this this generator can produce so now we're running and climbing up to 4.8 now try to do it a little faster, yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> this is 3 amp from my hand. You can listen to the sound of the magnets inside because it's heavy load. Well, not really heavy. <laughs> Alright, so... This is the first step with a 350... With a 350 motor. Trying to 5.1. Soon I'm going to make another test with this one. It's a 1K, it's a 1K hub motor connected to this exact uh, system and see how it goes. Okay, um, I just welded this three phase that go to this motor, this hub motor, you can see the wire and we are continuing the charging let's, let's roll it okay it's much easier much easier you can hear the hum of the magnets Let me adjust the gears of the bicycle. Okay. So you can see the amp climbing. Okay. 
you can look at this amp meter as well. If I'm like pushing it hard, so it's go up and voltage climbing up. I can tell you by uh, the way I feel when I turn it that it's much easier with this one. Much easier. Let's see for three amp. Yeah. <sighs> it works. Uh, don't know about the efficiency. Um, no load voltage test. Make this simple. Just disconnecting the the capacitor bank. Let's see. Start turn it. Okay, so we run it. It's, of course, it's easy to run it. And we go for 14, 16. Okay, this voltmeter starts working at about 5 volts. So, again. This is the speed for now. Okay. Uh, the way I see it, uh, we can use this these motors for 12 volt system. If we we go for wind turbine, so uh, if we want to produce efficient. Uh, efficient power so we, we need to go for 12 volt because it voltage it, it, vo it voltage range is is a is going up to 16 and I, I ran it before really fast it go to 30 volts but to run it so fast you need a really uh, powerful wind and usually the wind is not so fast so even if we we connect it to a gear and this is actually what I'm going to do use this chain and this bicycle gear and to adjust uh, the, 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 the generator speed so to make it uh, start uh, from from zero uh, so and and give it enough power give it enough power so we will charge 12 volt 12 volt uh, battery and this is my first small test that i made with hub motors and just uh, wanted to share it with you if you have any ideas or comments or uh, if you if you do know a really good um, not expensive generator that can produce more power or more efficient one uh, please let me know write email or just comment on this video thank you